Hi. So, uh, this has been a pretty crazy month for me, uh, that being October of 2024. Uh, I expected it to just be fun, very chill, you know, work on a holiday special for the, th the 31st so that I can, you know, have that out of the way and then just enjoy Halloween, which is usually what I do every year or try to. And it just became this crazy month where all this shit was happening. I did have a week planned where I just took time off and enjoyed time with my girlfriend and go to Halloween Horror Nights, which is some which is a tradition I look forward to every year. Then just all the shit started happening at once. We had a hurricane, so we spent like the first half of the week preparing for that, and then the second half worrying about the aftermath, not getting power for a whole day, that was fun, and then not getting internet back for a couple more days, which was also fun. And then I had to prepare for my vacation. I had to get everything in order. And even then I came out of it broke. So <laughs> so just everything happened at once. I had a Halloween special planned, but I didn't give myself enough time to do it. And I paid the price. October came around and I'm like, oh, I'll just get it done in October. It's no problem. Yeah, that obviously didn't happen. But uh, I think I've learned a valuable lesson in all of this. And that's just plan ahead. Plan ahead with everything. Even if you don't think you need to plan ahead, plan ahead. So in the future, what I decided to do is um, whenever I have a holiday special, start working on it as early as possible. Like even if it's like the beginning of the year because you'll give yourself plenty of time and whatever happens, it won't put a dent in it that much. So I'm going to try that next year. And I'm also going to try that for Christmas because it's only November. You know, I can come up with a Christmas special and have it done by Christmas if I, you know, put in the time. I wanted to make this video because it's one of those situations where you have a lot to say and you don't want to just make a post about it. Um, you don't feel like typing it out. It's easier to get across just saying it. So I decided to make this update video to uh, talk about a few things regarding my content. Um, first of all, I did mention that I went to Halloween Horror Nights. I do. I try to do that every year. I want to go again next year. I might end up actually going earlier in the year because they start at like August. Like <laughs> as far from Halloween as they possibly can be. Because they have this thing called a premium scare night. Which is a special ticket they started selling this year where you can go early uh, because they sell out really quick. And like you get to skip the lines for the haunted houses. You get to have free food and drinks, which is that that speaks to me on a spiritual level. And best of all, it will cost less than what I pay every year. So um, I definitely want to do that. That's my plan for next year. The reason I bring this up that the fact that I go every year, because uh, last year I tried to put together a video about my experience at Halloween Horror Nights. But the issue is I didn't have enough footage and I didn't take enough photos. So I didn't have a lot of substance to put in the video. This year, I didn't expect to get that much, but I got so many photos, so many videos, and they just look so cool because they're in 4K. So I actually do want to put together a little Halloween Horror Nights video this time around because I feel like I can, you know, I can do it really well this time around. It's not going to go up on my main channel. I decided I'm going to put it up on my Evening at DK's channel which is the channel that you probably already forgot about because <laughs> I don't talk about it that much. I, I do have a side channel where I want to do like video discussions. I want to review movies and TV shows like that's a hobby of mine and I wanted to put it to good use on YouTube. So I made an evening at DK's. I have like probably one video on it right now. I think it was um, talking about Donkey from Shrek. <laughs> it's, it's not the strongest start, but it, it's it's going to become something. Because I have a lot of ideas for it, and I, I want to see how many I can make a reality. So if, if you want to support that channel, you can. If not, if you just want to see the Halloween Horror Nights video I have planned, I'll be putting it on there, and I'll be advertising it here. I'll, I'll have that up sometime in November. Obviously, I couldn't get it done by Halloween because it, uh, my trip was so close to Halloween. Now let's talk about this channel. This channel in particular. Um, starting with my comic dubs. Yes, I am going to be working on comic dubs still. Like, for people who are wondering, like, am I even going to keep um, making them? A absolutely. I have so many plans, like, 
you have no idea. Like, I'm working on a comic dub right now. I, I'm not going to announce what it is just yet. I will say that I teased it a couple of times. But yeah, there is going to be a new comic dub. I want to release it uh, sometime this month. If not, it'll go up in December. Then after I um, release that comic dub, I'm going to be making a big announcement regarding that uh, content that I'm really looking forward to announcing. So that's my plan for that. A little while ago, I announced that I was on a small hiatus with my Subspace Abridged series. And I didn't give really much of a reason for that. I just said like complications or something. Really what it was, was just like a creative slump. My comic dubs and my abridged uh, content are very different. With comic dubs, I have a foundation that I can work off of. It's mostly just putting everything together, which, which is the challenge with that. With my abridged parodies, I'm writing the scripts completely. Like, I'm coming up with all these jokes, I'm coming up with ways to move the plot along very in a smooth way, as smooth as possible, with <laughs> with abridged parodies. But yeah, there there's like that extra step. It's not just putting everything together, it's coming up with ideas for the series. I will take an L for um, jumping too quickly into that series. I should have um, done a lot of this um, before I started, you know, announcing the series and uploading episodes of it. And uh, that's totally on my bad. But I, I feel like with a lot of time freed up and with a lot of new motivation that I um, started having, I feel like I'm ready to get back into that series. And uh, I will be working on episodes, so look forward to that. Hopefully I'll get a new episode out soon. And I'm really excited to uh, finish that series as well because I have something really big planned for after that. Actually, a couple big things planned. <laughs> I'll talk about that another time. For those of you who are worried that like my channel is just becoming like a uh, a video dump of like music covers, I <laughs> no. I mainly put those out just because I want to, you know, give you guys content in between like the big stuff I have planned because making these uh comic dubs and abridged parodies aren't easy and they take a lot of time. And I've said this before, this isn't my career. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm a very, very part-time YouTuber. And I have a part-time job outside of that. So I try to put like little things together for you guys and just put it up and be like, hey, uh, I did a thing if you want to check out the thing because um, what you're probably looking forward to is taking a lot of time for me to put together. Uh, I might have some other smaller ideas that are a little bit more fun. I'll let you guys know. But yeah, um, in the meantime, I just like throw things together that I, you know, made myself. Like I decided um, to do a cover of this song that I really like, you know, check it out if you want. And sometimes I'll just do really dumb shit too <laughs> for, for a cheap laugh. As for my side content, um, I want to focus really heavily on my Let's Play content because um, I just enjoy doing that so much. And uh with all the different games that I'm playing on the, over on that channel, I feel like I really need to dedicate more time to that because, you know, I want to be able to finish these games that I started. Of course, that begs the question, like, why don't you just focus on a couple games at a time? You don't need to do all these games at once. It's just the way that I do it. I don't have a lot of free time to play games these days, so I just do it for YouTube content. That way I can enjoy myself and you guys can enjoy watching me. And I also do that for filler too, because, you know, like I said, with all the time that it takes to put together what I really want to make, you know, there's these gaps. And I want to fill in those gaps by giving, you know, some entertainment on the side. So, why did I say it like that? So if you guys are interested, I'm always advertising my gaming content on my channel. You guys can hop over on that channel if you want to see me do something else. I'm going to try and work on the DK crew as much as I possibly can. For those of you who don't know, I mean, I talk about it all the time, but uh, the DK Crew is a channel I run with my friends, and we do movie commentaries, we do games together, we do all that kind of fun stuff, and and like I said, that evening channel that I keep saying is going to become something, but it isn't something yet, it's going to become something, all right? So just wait. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to really update you guys on. Uh, I'm going to be getting to work very soon, and I... Just want to thank you guys a lot for, 
your support, your patience, all of that. I've basically been using my community tab as social media because I can't stand actual social media. The fact that you guys are liking the posts or interacting with the posts just shows that you guys are sticking around and I really appreciate it. I, I do. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I got so many plans. I, I'm really excited to jump right back in and hopefully I can. Nothing, hopefully nothing else crazy happens because I've had enough crazy for one month. This is Master DK signing off. Stay your awesome selves always. See you next time.